Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 30 of the Disguise 5 Complete LP. Conversation time. So, we have finally made it to episode 30. We're almost at 50. Just 20 off. So basically more than half of what we are now added on to this to get to half a hundred. Jeez, these guys are such a pain. Sorokin's over there. Uh, I have no idea what this one's going to be about. What's Dylan? Oh, what a coincidence. You want a favor for me too? So I'm guessing you just asked for favors. Uh, Seraphine and Red Magnus. Both relying on his power. Can't stand it. Uh, no one could... Okay, so they're relying on his speed for something. Want to go buy bread and juice right away? <laughs> well, it's he, he's the only one that can go buy bread and juice. He is the only one that can possibly go do those things. He's gonna be over the time limit, and they won't pay him. So basically, <laughs> it's positive train of thought. So they basically told him, "Hey, go buy these things for us, and if you don't get back in time, we're not gonna pay you for the items." No, don't t don't take up Zerokin's line of thinking. Okay, and I didn't I didn't do anything between the last episode and this one, so everyone's still the same. Because I figure, hey, we had a pretty good point in terms of uh, in terms of levels that I shouldn't really be leveling up anymore. As I was saying, just doing these special moves to get out of the way. And God, I hate telemarketers. Very annoying. Uh, save. Doink a doink. Uh, awesome. Let's go to the squad, just drop them. Might as well drop them now, because they're not very strong people. Boom. Just drop them in the boot camp. Don't even care where. First knock. Where would you like to go, dude? To okay, cutscene time. Why are you so relaxed? You so have to get your revenge by killing Void Dark, don't you? Shut up and stay out of this. Leave the magical spears alone. It doesn't matter to us how many netherworlds are destroyed. When I'm finally unleashed, we're going to destroy them all anyway. I won't let that happen. I have no intentions of ever becoming you. Is that so? No matter what you try, you cannot defeat Void Dark without me. You do know that, right? <laughs> Whatever. At this rate, I will be unleashed whether you like it or not. You've already reached your limit. You can't hold me back anymore. Shut up! I'll never become you again! <laughs> Just keep bluffing. I'll be waiting with joy for the day I'll finally be unleashed! I've decided that I'll never allow myself to become Tyrant Kalidia again. Kilia! It's an emergency blip! Huh? What's going on? There is a concentration of lost forces in the netherworld where the magical spear landed. Fortress de Gaulle. There are rebels like us there who are fighting against Void Dark, but... They're on the brink of being destroyed, Blip! Looks like they're definitely focusing their forces in one area to protect it. What a pathetic effort. But isn't that proof that the lost strength is weakening? What should we do, Kilia? Knowing you. Yeah, let's hurry. Okay, so now we're getting some backstory and whatnot. And how he's like, oh, I I'm never gonna become you. I, I do like how Kilia's like evil version is just a little bit more gravelly in the voice. Like, uh, uh, you, I'm never gonna be you. <laughs> like, God. Uh, I am gonna put it up to. I'm gonna put it up to two stars. Just make it a little bit more worthwhile for everything. Um, Where would you like to go, dude? Let's go in there. Still have 12 days left on my curry. So after this episode, depending on how many uh, fights I do, deals random damage at the end of the turn. Burnt out spirit. Oh, yeah. Should probably... A fortress netherworld surrounded by walls, which form a maze. I don't even... Like, some of these netherworld shapes don't even make sense. Like, okay, this one... 
Like, it's a carrot shape, but at least it's still semi-round. Like, but, like, some of them, like, this one, this one, it's just, like, it's on a platform. I don't get it. <laughs> Whatever. Doesn't really matter, does it? This place is a mess. Damn! Where are all the lost? I'll beat the super crap out of them! Something moved over there. Y is it the lost? Looks like she's one of their victims. We need to treat her quickly, Blip! Are you okay? Can you hear me? <sighs> Relax. We're not with the lost. We'll help you right away. We didn't obey them. Yeah, and you did really well. Just leave the rest to us. Ugh. Come on, stay with me here. You're gonna be all right. We'll help you. What are you doing, Christo? Hurry up and heal her. Hey, Christo, what's the matter? Hurry! Kilia. Unfortunately, it's too late. No! She put every ounce of energy she had into fighting the lost. She had a very strong heart. Kilia. Hey, Kilia. If I had been there sooner... Damn it! It's rare to see Bro letting out his emotions like that. What's done is done. We need to annihilate the Lost and destroy the Magical Spear. Yeah, I know. Okay, so we see some rare emotion, and we finally get to see the, uh, oh, is this no entry? Yeah, there's no entry. God damn it. Okay, jumping power plus 50%, which is good, because people will probably need it. Um, okay. Make it so I can't just go around like that. Let's go! Oh, whatever. But, uh, one of the things that, uh, I do, I do like, so now that we've had that, uh, that flashback with Lise, Void Dark, and Goldion. Yeah. That how uh, now the picture of her like leaning over saying Kelly and whatnot. That's un that's not faded reckless. anymore. It's uh, it's now like normal. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw these guys over to the left, so I can get. Hopefully, hopefully I can get Sorokin onto the jumping panel. Yeah. Because his jump is already the best out of everyone. Unfortunately, not going to be able to do anything uh, here. But, uh, because it's going to increase his jumping power by 50%, so that would be really nice. I'm not an angel. Uh, and I'm thinking I might try and get Christo a better bow and try and grind him up a little bit because he's pretty Is damn okay? weak as of right now. He's not... I haven't found really many uses for him. No, <laughs> oh, he got bombed. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna... He's gonna be doing all that stuff. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I see Oh, crap. Oh, crap. <laughs> This is goofy. An extremely goofy movie. I like that movie. Probably Max going out. See, it, it's really weird when I think when you think back to old movies, it's like, wow, all that stuff kinda was like unrelatable back then. But now, like, I'm now in college. And it feels like super weird, because it's like, wow, yeah, now yeah. I do relate to them. 
I do relate to like all the stuff. Um, you know what? You guys are mine. I'm capturing you. Um, unfortunately, you don't get the jump bonus unless you start on the uh, on the panel. So I'm going to go there, see whether or not I can. No, it doesn't look like anything's gonna have the necessary. And it'll do the thing at the top. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, you know, like, certain things are definitely more relatable. Well, I'm in college now. He was going to college, and I can really like feel like, the okay. Now I'm like independent. I don't want like my parents getting on my case about everything. And it's like okay, cool. Like I now I have like a new enjoyment of certain movies, especially childhood movies. Oh sweet. Now I, for some. Oh, I get it. Wait, did I end a turn? Oh, that's dirty. Okay, so I, <laughs> how it works, it's from here, I can't do it. But, because of the way movement in this game works, where, uh, say, uh, where, like, that that was a move, and in past the Sky games, that would be as far as you could move. And if you wanted to move again, you'd have to go back to your original spot and move. But this one, it's, you're able to move, uh, jointed. You're able to just like choose to move whenever you want to move. Let's go, great. Huh. And and say you get like more movement at some point, you can move. So that what that what that did was it allowed me to actually move to the jumping panel and then move again, which allowed me to move my full uh, range, which is really fun. That that's good. I like that. That is awesome. Um, no, nothing's going to be able to do anything. Oh yeah, he did get Gospel of Power. Which, not... Probably not going to be able to use it. I'll try and use it on the dragon next turn. Yeah. Oh, we got bombed. So I'm not sure. Dragon didn't move. Which kind of stinks, because I'm not sure. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't seem like it has enough of a range. Or it just doesn't have a target. Okay, so let's lift you for ya. Gospel of power. Okay. So you should be able to do it. Just gonna push you up. Yeah, okay, really. Did you hold it? Let me show you. What's this move? My true oh. power. Oh wow! Really? I wonder if you're an angel, dude. <laughs> Look at those white wings. Demons don't get those. And it's gospel. God. Quite literally. You want to do it? Yeah. How, how much more angelic can you possibly make this person? In skill set. Without outright saying, this person is a demon. We heard they were on the brink of being destroyed, but... This looks like they've already been destroyed. Mountains of rubble stretch out as far as the eye can see. At this rate, it'll be impossible to find survivors. Crystal, we can't give up, Clip! There might still be people waiting for us to help them! I... I see your point. You're right, Usalia. Sir Kilia? Will I repeat the same mistake that I made before? Am I going to let the people I'm trying to save die? What am I doing? Kilia, please don't blame yourself, Clip. She's right. This is in no way your fault, Sir Kilia. It's not my fault? Is that really true? Huh? What do you mean? Wh what? Do I have something on my face? You might have been right. We should have defeated Void Dark first, rather than coming here to see this. It's not too late. Let's go bring the fight to him. Stop right there! Are you really, Sir Kilia? There's a limit to how much you can accomplish by yourself. She's right. Didn't we come to this netherworld to destroy the magical spear? Calm down, Clip! What has gotten into you? I... 
just want to... I don't want there to be any more victims of Void Dark. That's all. Lise was... I don't want to have to relive the devastation of having my one and only family being killed. Lise? Who's that bitch? Remembering girls kill ya? Let's okay, fix so you let's up. Over here and heal. Boink. Uh, and conversation times. More conversations. So, Crystal has magnificent horns that even put minotaurs to shame. Which conveniently come off. First time I've ever been complimented. We're gonna see a demon with such demonic horns like that nowadays. Maybe I should get some horns. Where did you buy yours from? <laughs> it's like, what? How'd you get them? <laughs> uh, they were passed down strict parents' bloodline. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Where do you get the horns from? <laughs> I've seen Christo's horns somewhere before, dude. You've seen demons whose horns fall off? Really? That's where you saw them. I think they were like 90% off in a mail order catalog for like 10 hell. <laughs> They're overstocked and defective, but plus they're cheaper at the store. <laughs> what a coincidence, but mine are real. <laughs> you guys can stop thinking of my horns as fake ones, because mine are better, so shut the hell up before I beat you up. Get out of my face. Um, okay, so let's save. This is it. Interrogate. Huh? Yeah. Just, Cause I just like to get all the interrogation cues yeah. as fast as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Just as insurance, in case. Oh, Where okay. Would you like to go, dude? A lot of people, and then you know it takes more than five to get through. Fortress de Gaulle. De Gaulle. I feel like it should be like Fortress de Gaulle, with like the French L L E silence. De Gaulle. Hey, what's up with them? Serafina's grabbing on to Kilia so he won't go off on his own. Sis is one of those girls who ties her men down, huh? Poor bro. Hey, give me some space already. I can't walk right with you hanging on to me. You will never act on your own. If you can promise me that, and pledge your eternal love for me, then I'll let you go. I'll promise the first part. I'll never act on my own. <laughs> well, Man, she ain't all right. second. But please tell me one thing in exchange. This Lise that you mentioned was a girl, right? Would you mind telling me the story of when she was killed? Usalia wants to know too, Blip. Is that your reason for wanting revenge? Women. Gilly has never talked about this, so don't ask him about it. Yeah. When the time comes, Bro will tell us all about it. But... But what? That lady might be the key to bringing out Kilia's true power. Zorokin had his weak heart. Red Magnus had his past mistake. And Usalia had her parents' death. Everyone overcame some kind of suffering to achieve their true powers. Kilia, maybe you could... I don't have any power. I only have revenge on my mind. But... I owe you guys the truth for fighting with me this whole time. What Void Dark and I, and Lise, all had in common. Goldion's daughter, Lise Rhoda, was Void's older twin sister. Lise was a unique girl. Although she was a demon, she was always straightforward, bright, and loved to meddle. She always budged her way into my business, and we used to argue a lot. At first, I was annoyed by her meddling, but her natural brightness and kindness made me open up to her before I even realized it. Even when I left Goldion's side, she followed me by herself for some reason. 
I figured Goldion had told her to keep tabs on me, and she was just carrying out her duty. But the truth is, she was worried about me. A guy who just ran away because he couldn't master the ultimate demon technique, final skill. If I have anything that could be called a heart, it's because she gave it to me. I survived my days in cryo blood and was known as the Tyrant Overlord, but Lise gave me a heart. That was the first time in my life that I ever felt the warmth of a family. I prayed for that time to last forever. But not long after that, Void appeared. Kilia, return my sister to me. I refuse. You refuse? But you're just a complete stranger! No. Lise is my family. Don't be naive. You're just a stranger that father picked up off the streets on a whim. You stole the ultimate demon technique from my father, and now you're trying to steal my only sister away from me! I never liked you from the beginning! Yeah, I know. <laughs> Let's settle this. Are you serious, Void? Of course. I've been waiting a long time for this. I'm not the man you once knew. I've attained the ultimate power that lies beyond hatred. This is how it ends. Stop it! L Lise. Sis. Why, sis? Lise! Hey, Lise, you're only playing, right? Open your eyes. Lise! Get away from my sister, Kilia. <laughs> Get away! Bro, I don't know what to say. I never imagined that Kilia and Void Dark had such a deep relationship. Now I understand why you hate Void Dark so much. The anger and hatred for your family being killed. I understand it, Blip. If I had more power back then, Lise wouldn't have died. But I couldn't do anything. I don't ever want to feel like I did that day. Sir Kilia. So we get some uh, pr pretty, pretty deep backstory to Kilia's character, and you find out, like, yeah, out of everyone, Kilia kind of is uh, hit with the shit stick the hardest. <laughs> Okay, so this map isn't hard, like, whatsoever. This is one of the quickest and easiest What's maps. What's in this quick? Other than, like... Huh. I don't know. What other Let's ones go. I could say are easier. Let's go. But a simple go, throw go, go. is all that it really takes. To just move over to the correct path. Huh. Uh, I'll put Kristen over on. here, because mine as well, right? Me too! Ooh, Salia, as right always. There. Hmm. Boink. Huh. Boink. Okay, yeah. I'll pause you there. Yeah. Pause you there. Uh, I'm gonna put Christo right near Red Magnus. And then I'm gonna put you there. So then you can just take these guys out in turn. Yeah! Yeah. And because of their action, it's not just like damage to a person, it's a dropping of a bomb on your character. Enemy uh, forces will also take splash damage, which is pretty cool. Because it does act as though like a printy were just dropped. Flame, I see flame shot, flame pressure, flame pressure, orc juggler. Orc 
This map is hard at all by any stretch of the imagination. Which does make it uh, very quick to get through, because it's like, oh man, like I want to learn more about Kalia's backstory and whatnot. So of course they don't leave like a super hard level or one that'll take a super long time. Um, uh, top shot, I guess. I haven't used that one. I was just trying to uh, do enough damage so that he can kill someone. And then you can go right here. Boop, boop, doop. That. Okay, so now there's only that Drake left. And you have a lot of move. Goose Chaser. So. I imagine that he's going to... No, Frosty Breeze. Frosty Breeze. I was hoping he would... Oh, and because he didn't move, he gets double attack because of the abilities with this character. Um, I was hoping that he would come in for a physical attack and she could counter him. Uh, off chance. Oh, just... Sophia's Mirror as a bottom one. Okay, so that that's definitely telling you, like, okay. Like, even though they are somewhat random, it's like, okay, you're supposed to have, like, equipment of about this level. Is that it? I'm nowhere near being satisfied. Ch she's in a bad mood. She's been acting like that ever since Kilia mentioned that Lise girl's name flip. Uh, hey, old man Magnus, do something. Right, leave it to me. I've known her for a long time. Yo, Sarah! You don't look all that happy! A girl's jealousy is unbecoming! Tell me, who is jealous of whom? Huh? Hey, Usalia! Only Bro can stop her! Go get him! By the way, where is Kilia? Over there, Plip. He's eating without any concern in the world. He's eating again? Not to mention the portions. Is Bro's stomach a black hole? How can all that food fit in his skinny body? He said that he's been burning a lot of calories lately, but that's still a ridiculous amount, Plip. All this eating is pointless. Your body, which has been constantly abused, is no better than a bag with a hole in it. It doesn't matter how much you eat, it's impossible to hold me back. <laughs> You're pretty stubborn, but the more obstinate you are, the more you're putting those around you in danger. Who will your weak heart kill next? <laughs> I can't wait to see. Okay, so they're referencing like, hey, he's eating a lot. And it's like, so it seems to be directly related where Kilia eating what? is somehow holding back the uh, ghost version of him. I'm not sure, the dark version. Okay. Boop, boop, doop. Okay, those are some decent ones. Um, okay. yeah, I'm just gonna... Wait, what? Uh, I'm just gonna delete you. Um, yeah, delete you. Right, delete you. I'm just going through and deleting all the ones that I'm never going to use again because now they are far below like my character level. Uh, yeah, so that should be good. So, oh yeah, I should probably heal them, right? That way, you know, they can actually go on the uh, expeditions. But um, let's fix you up. 
One thing I did find interesting about the cutscene involving Void Dark and Kilia, like in the past when they were fighting, was how uh, Void Dark was like, give me back my sister, and it's like, dude, I didn't take your sister. Because, <laughs> like, she just followed him. Like, he didn't... <laughs> he didn't ask her to come, he didn't force her to come. It's like, why don't... Like, Void Dark, why don't you just go talk to your... Like, I understand liking your sibling. Like, I understand that, like, wanting your sibling to be around and whatnot. But, one, she's older than him, and yeah, like, they're demons, and they live in, like, demonic worlds and whatnot, where people are really strong, she probably wouldn't be able to defend herself. But, it's like, dude, just ask her if she wants to come back. Like, you don't need to fight over it. Uh, hey bro, having a picture of that Lise person? Why are you asking? Because I'm curious. She's part of your family, then she's part of my family. Kind of <laughs> what kind of quantum leap have you taken? Person that kill you who's fit. So they're all interested in what Lise looked like. Must be a brilliant, hateful woman. <laughs> You're scary, Seraphina. The flames of jealousy are flickering behind your back. Unfortunately, no pictures. Could draw you a picture of her instead. And this is Kilia's drawing skills, so. Zorokin has never seen him. <laughs> really? You can draw? And you can you can imagine what's gonna come through the middle part where it's there's a nice separation of people. Just so fast. <laughs> God, that's God, that is absolutely atrocious. I have a feeling that those plates were like, okay, um, one of the art designers has a kid who also likes to draw, so I'm gonna go show my kid the picture of this person and let my kid draw it, and that will be in the game. Ugh. I guess kid's art is probably way too advanced for his time, so no one can understand. <laughs> Damn, man! I didn't think you had skills like this! Uh, Zorokin thinks it's really good art. <laughs> think Zorokin's good at draw kill ya. This is so dumb and I love it. This is my bro. <laughs> and kill ya is evaluating it with his own- Like, I like how Zorokin and kill ya like each other's art. And it's great, because all of it sucks. And it's about as good as I could draw. Carefree and fearless. It's a very vibrant and lively picture. Almost like you drew me with your personality. Thanks, bro, but that's too much of a compliment. The delicacy and precision of your picture goes way beyond mine. They seem to have accepted each other's art as being very high level. Didn't see it. I, I didn't see any of this shice. Okay, what's up? Uh, how do you feel about Serafina? Oh yeah, because they've been childhood friends. Not really, just, they've just known each other. I think she's a shrew. That all? Like nothing? Maybe you actually like her? You see, men are known for being obstinate in front of the girl they like. <laughs> it's more like little boys than men. It's pretty common. They have elementary schools, so... Feel bad for Ed Magnus? He has no- Every- like, no one listens to anyone else when it comes to the matter of, like, affection. Cause it's like the Christo Usalia thing, it's just like, yeah, I'm gonna reject you before anything. What in the red hell are you guys super saying? I don't have any interest in Sarah. First of all, I have no interest in girls. <laughs> are you only interested in boys? Is that why you're always acting all obstinate? Come to think of it, you were giving Killian an inviting look. I don't know what you're all what y'all talking about, but I'm only interested in muscles. <laughs> ah, that's right. Yeah, of course. Like, he is incapable of feeling affection at like a love level for anybody. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, ba -do -ba -do. Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum. Okay, we're running at almost 40, so I think one more chapter, Where would you chapter like to go, one dude? more battle, and we can probably call it in because I'm guessing this is going to be cutscenes. So, yep. Scar of the Warriors. That's a good stage name.
But one more of these with the battle and the cutscenes. And we should end it at about like Lise, 50 minutes. Please tell me. What should I do? Ever since that day, I've lived my life with nothing but revenge on my mind. But then I met those guys, and I was reminded that there is something more important than revenge. And then, I started thinking that I'd like to help those who are suffering because of Void. Lise, the heart that you gave me has changed me this much. Isn't that right? What should I do? Should I focus on getting revenge on Void? Or... My! Sir Kilia! What are you doing here? What is it? Do you need something? I was worried that you may have forgotten your promise not to take any actions on your own. Don't worry. I remember. What were you thinking about? <laughs> what, am I not even allowed to think for myself? Don't joke with me. It was about that Lise girl, right? <laughs> you don't have to hide it. It's obvious that that girl lives on inside your heart. That must also be the reason why my Baylor gaze doesn't work on you. You seem to have really strong feelings for her, but I won't give up on you. All men are destined to kneel before me. You're no exception, Sir Kilia. No, as a matter of fact, because you won't obey me, I want to force you to kneel before me even more. Be prepared! <laughs> wow. It's a little late for me to be saying this, but it seems an unbelievable person has set her eyes on me. So they just had like a slight heart-to-heart -heart moment, like, oh, this is their relationship. Okay, so this is another one of the stages that isn't too bad, so long as you can get someone to throw across this. And even then, it's just, yeah, it's not, it's not very much Let's of go. a challenging stage. Okay. All men are my servants. It's pretty. It gets pretty easy to know, yeah. know who's supposed to go where in the tower structure at this point. Uh, simply based on range of movement. Huh. Uh, Leave it to me, Blink. I mean, I guess no. I can always progress. What should I do? Me yeah, too. So here's the hoping. Huh. I'm using Zeta. What up? Uh, Let's go. Let's go. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, he's gonna be throwing. You know what? Because they're gonna be doing it anyway. Yeah. Might as well just throw like this. What up? I do need to spread them out. Huh. Well. Right there. Right. Meteor. Ooh, I love my name. Just not expecting that. Even though I totally should have been expecting that. Okay, so I can take care of these guys, which I will. Um, yep, enter. Just kill them while I can. Excavation. Go ahead, This is uh, that class was. Rampage. Because it's a monster skill, Tired it's now? inherently unique. No. That's all. So, it's a gigafire, which I have used previously, but the game crashed. So, not let me skip. Because that's all. I don't love game crashes. God, the, My I, true I have power. to imagine that's an ability that lets that character type guard. Like, over a regardless amount of distance. Um, let's do that, I guess. Um, let's drop you down here. Super damage, Lord. There it is. By changing to an axe, I was able to successfully do more damage. There for because... Gale. Almost. Yeah, I'll do it anyway. Sure, I'm back. 
Tay, Tay. I'm guessing it's within like a certain range. Yeah, that's really nice that I can just. Like, okay, now it's time for me to move some more. Um, I haven't used Cow Fire Strike in a while. Uh, doop do. And this is perfect for excavation. Yeah. Daddy's a badass freaking overlord. Got that shield. Kitty rampage. Gate of fire. I'm going quick. So I'm guessing they take if they defend, they're taking like vastly minimized damage. Because th that that character should be dead. Christy should be dead. So I'm gonna attack her that way she doesn't get a defense. Um badass overdrive should do it. Expected and you're 156. Um, rapid arrow? Yeah, sure. Let's let's use bow skills. Yeah. Okay. So that was some good. Uh, I'm liking how short these levels are. It's like, yeah, you want to get to the store, you want to get to the store. So here are short levels that. If you're higher level, you can breeze through. No problem. More food! B bro shouldn't we be going now? I'll finish soon. You guys go on ahead. That's fine, but I won't forgive you if you run away. I will never take an action on my own. I remember that promise vividly. You know exactly what will happen if you break your promise, correct? I don't even want to imagine it. <laughs> you know, this is exactly how Sarah expresses her love. W would you please not misconstrue the situation? Th this is... yes, this is about discipline. Just discipline. Wasalia understands. It's discipline in the name of love, Blip. N not at all. This is... Serafina is really cute when she's flustered, Blip. It's okay, Serafina. I'll keep my promise. Do you swear? Are you finished clearing them out? It's almost time. You've reached your limit, haven't you? You can't hold me back. How long are you going to lie to yourself? Get revenge against Void Dark? Save those who are suffering? You sure talk a lot. <laughs> You're not confused about anything. You're just pretending to be someone else. I'm not pretending. You're lying. Your true nature is to slaughter and destroy everything as Tyrant Overlord Kilidia. That's all in the past. I'm different now. I've been reborn. And it's all thanks to Lise. I am you. And you are me. No matter how much you deny it, you can't change that fact. Now, unleash me. Just be honest with yourself. Don't suppress your impulse to slaughter and destroy. I... I will never, ever... Go ahead and cling on to that weak heart of yours forever. You're already done. That line, I am you and you are me, reminded me so much of Persona 5, like every time you fuse a demon or uh, recruit one, like, there's a, uh, I am thou, thou art I. Uh, what? 
and they usually have something else. Uh, I, I, I know the, uh, oh, they just found a new netherworld. They didn't finish any research. But I, uh, I remember, like, loving every single, like, persona unleash, just because, uh, like, unlocking each persona from every character, because, like, they're always so cool. Which now it's like, release your rebel soul! And it's like, or your rebel, your soul of rebellion, and I'm like, yeah, that, that's really cool. Persona 5 is a great game. If you have a PS4, I highly suggest playing it. Uh, it, I dropped over, like, 140 hours into it through two two playthroughs. Of course, the second playthrough is always faster than the first. Uh, but, with that, I am going to call episode 30 to an end. Because we're almost at, like, 50 minutes. We're at, like, 47 right now. So, I'm going to say... Well, actually, I can't remember. Is it this episode or last episode where I had to go answer that phone call? Whatever. We're probably... This is one of the shorter episodes. It's fine. Uh, we'll probably finish up this chapter next episode. So I hope you all have a very nice day and come to join me again. Bye.